Hello, welcome to Squeezebox. I'm Dakota. And I'm Jason. And today we're going to be talking about medieval times and what people did back in those days. More importantly, we're going to be talking about medieval hygiene and mm -hmm. types of things that would be really gross uh, to us today. So uh, what do we got in the first one? Chamber pots. Chamber pots were containers for collecting urine overnight. Back in old Edinburgh, you always have to be alert for the shout of garde l'eau, which is French for watch out for the water. <laughs> if you're not quick enough, you could find yourself being showered with the contents of cha chamber pots hurled from tenement windows. Wow. So if you didn't watch out, you might be getting some pissed in the face. Gross. I mean, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> I'm kind of interested as to like what technique, like they must have had some serious aim. You know, because that doesn't look very, I mean, it doesn't look like a large it, opening. So. It would be hard to be a female in that situation. Right. It really would be. Especially like the other one, the, the one on the left, like that's all sideways. So you'd have to be like doing, doing some weird sideways crouch. And I don't even know. And, and not to mention, you'd probably be getting butthole right on the, the handle. So oh, like every time. You'd definitely be getting butthole on the handle. <laughs> So, like, every time you pick that up to empty it out, you'd be just getting butthole all over your hands. A little bit of swass. A little butthole chunks. Oh, man. That's pretty gross. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> if I can scroll down. All right, here we go. So, the next one, we've got privies and garter robe. In two-door houses, not two-door, but T-U-D-O-R. Toilets were a bowl with a slab of wood and a hole carved at the top. Builders set the toilet into a recess or cupboard-like area called a garderobe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm going with it. In castles, a slab of wood covers a hole in the floor that took waste products straight to the, into the moat. Poor people didn't have the luxury of toilets. Oh, poor people. <laughs> so they simply relieved themselves wherever they could and just buried the waste matter. That's... That's pretty gross right there. Just imagine all the people that walked around barefoot and they're just they're just stepping on it, trudging. Right. <laughs> well, you've seen like those medieval movies or like even I mean even into like the the 1800s. You know, you right. go over onto a street and it's just muck right. after rain. You just be wa waddling you, around and shit. Can you imagine seeing like them pull that out and watch all this? Oh man. It looks like it's it's stained. There's a Probably definite is. stain right there on all of the, all of the uh, the stones. They're looking black, a little nasty there. It's pretty crazy. Roofs. <laughs> Moving on. Leaves or moss as toilet paper. Hmm. Yeah. Neither rich nor poor people had toilet paper. Poor people used leaves or moss to wipe their bottoms, while the rich used lamb's wool instead. This this is something. Why do we gotta say rich people, poor people, yeah, rich like, people, poor people? Because that's obviously up, man. they use different stuff. That's messed that's up. Obviously. There's no middle class apparently. Yeah. Not back in those days. Can you imagine using moss to wipe? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you just that grab be, a clump. You just fall apart. You would feel like you'd have to reclean yourself <laughs> after using moss. So it says kings had a royal bum wiper known as the groom of the stool. Can <laughs> you imagine how awkward that'd be? So like, does he just like stand in there and he's just so like... <laughs> How's the stool going, sire? <laughs> like just talking to him, making small talk while he's dropping Get a deuce. Get the fuck out of here! Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, uh, one time I went <laughs> to a strip club. I don't really like to go because they're just weird, but I did go. Because a bunch of friends went, and I walked up to the urinal because I really had to pee, and I was peeing, and uh, this this midget walks up to me, and he's like got lotion in his hands, and he's like all oh, making small talk, talking about like his lotion, and he wants he wants to like wash my hands and stuff. It was weird. I went over. I kind of I kind of just like finished what I was doing, and then bolted out the door, and then the rest of the night I went outside and peed. Because <laughs> I was afraid it, of the person that's gonna come up to me and like start talking about the lotion. Damn midget! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Cesspits. 
Since the sewage system back then was not yet proper, people had to make do with burying much of their waste material in a cesspit in their cellar or garden. Really? Yeah. So we've got more poop burying. Mm-hmm. Who, who goes out and does that? It's just one person a week or, or I mean, I don't know what's going on. You would on. think the people that, you know, did it would go out there and bury that Well, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, bury it every single time. You want to like let it fill up some. <laughs> and then have somebody yeah. have somebody buried after that. Uh, it says people sh should have emptied these cesspits regularly, but only a few of them did. The stench was overwhelming, especially during summer and winter. Can you imagine? Especially in summer. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> That'd be pretty nasty. All right, what do we got next? Sarus, I think I'm saying that right. Sarus lead makeup poisoned people. Ceruse was the founda foundation makeup choice for both men and women as it gave them a smooth, a pale look. However, it contained, contained lead that seeped into the body through the skin, leading to poisoning, and they went crazy! Lead poisoning. Lead poisoning is pretty nasty. Yeah. Pretty nasty stuff. Makes you go crazy, makes you hallucinate, that type of stuff. What do we got next? Lead-lined water tanks. Hmm. Even though the rich pay for private water companies for their drinking and other water needs, the water that they consumed was not exactly better than those of peasants. Hmm. The main water supply came from elm trunks and domestic pipelines, and with lead, water also required storage in large lead tanks and often became stagnant. Wow. So, like, they're getting the double whammy. They're not only getting lead, but they're also, they also have stagnant water, which is causing bacteria and all kinds of nasty stuff. Can you just imagine every time you're taking a drink of water, there's little yeah. microbes having sex in your mouth? They're just like, they're just like... I wouldn't be drinking water. I would just... I don't know, man. I'd die. They're just like going to pound town <laughs> on your molars. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Nose gaze when walking into a crowd. A nosegay was something to keep the smells at bay, usually held in the hand or on the wrist of a lapel. It could be a small bouquet of flowers or a sachet, sachet. sachet of dried flowers and herbs. People held it up Did to you their say noses. Herbs? Did you just say herbs? I said herbs. You said herbs! I said herbs. It says herbs. Oh. It says herbs! I'm not going to let you live that down. What? It's herbs. Ah. <laughs> Oh, you say held it up to their you noses while walking in a large crowd. So, people got that body odor, man. <laughs> what's what's going on with that? Is I, I don't know. Those don't even look like good smelling flowers. They look it does, like it doesn't look like flowers. It looks like it's dried up, like, nasty grass or something. Yeah, like I field, don't know. Like in a field. All right. People bathed using the same water. Mm. Public baths were popular during the 13th century, but because of the scarcity of firewood used to heat the bath, bathing become, became an expensive practice. Man, they're just rocking. <laughs> they're all bathing together. Uh. Man, whole families and friends had to share a bath or many of them would remain dirty. Wow. You would think they'd still be dirty after that bath. You know, Probably. You would think. Probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I don't know, that's weird. Laundry, oh, laundry. laundry was scored in lye made of ashes and urine. Ancient Romans believed in the ability of urine to remove stains until the medieval times people used a lye made of ashes and urine wow. in order to clean their clothes. Man, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Well, urine, as everybody knows if they've seen dodgeball, it's it's sterile when it comes out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess if you just piss on your clothes, it'd be sterile for a bit. I don't know, kind of different thinking. No changing of clothes. King James the Sixth of Scotland wore the same clothes for months on end, even sleeping on them on occasion. He also kept the same hat on 24 hours a day until it fell apart. <laughs> it sounds like your hat, bro. 
What? <laughs> that hat got ran over in the road. And it was. I didn't wear it 24 seven. <laughs> he didn't take a bath as he not as it was bad. It was bad for his health. Dang. Or the hat on his head is bad for his health. <laughs> That's a pretty dashing hat too. Man, I don't cool. know. I, I mean, I I guess if I had a hat that badass, I'd probably want to wear it all the time too. Mm -hmm. But. Can't pull those off today. It's like a cowboy hat with some jewels, some, some jewels and some, some feathers, feathers rocking on it. I don't know. That's yeah, pretty weird. Dude's looking kind of feminine. Feminine. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, but he's rocking that huge goatee, so that kind of makes up for it. <laughs> I mean, some some women. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> lice infested oh! blades. <laughs> It's yeah. just flowers, but it's just like yeah. lice infested, and there's like a bunch of <laughs> white stuff in the person's hair. Nits and lice were common back then. So many of the more wealthy folks would save their natural hair and wear periwigs instead. Unfortunately, even periwigs could be infested with nits, especially during plagues. Yo, nit. Yo, nit. <laughs> what? No way. Bird droppings on the bed. Houses in the past didn't have protective roofing that houses have today, so it wasn't unusual for bugs, pests, and droppings to fall onto clean bedding. People then invented four poster beds in order to canopy, to keep a canopy that would catch all unpleasant stuff falling from the roof and not to not soil the bedding. That's hmm. actually a fun fact. I, did, I didn't I realize that. I thought they were just trying to be like, <coughs> you know overly rich and have just this ex extravagant bed but right. apparently they're just I've trying always, to... I've always wanted one of those beds. They're cool. <laughs> yeah. Infection from rushes. One of the biggest sources of infection during the medieval times was the use of rushes or straws to cover up the natural dirt floor of a building. Mm. 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 Wow. What is hanging? What is that? I don't know. Like a garment of some sort? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Although people often changed the top rushes, they did not do the same to the bottom la layer, hence leading to a manner of possible infection sources. It's nasty, man. Yeah, you can see why. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mousy eyebrows. I don't even know what that means. People <laughs> were already fashion conscious during the medieval times. When their eyebrows did not look fashionable, they often masked them with tiny pieces of skin from a mouse. What? Ugh. What? Wow. <laughs> That's extreme. Why don't you just shave them off? What is that? A loop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. Keep forgetting it's touch screen. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Dude's creepy. A peculiar cure to baldness. Men had to com <laughs> combine potassium salts with chicken droppings and then place the mixture on the affected area. If they wanted to remove unwanted hair from any of the area, the, any area of the body, they had to make a paste consisting of eggs, strong vinegar, and cat dung, and then apply it to the area where they want to remove hair. I think they're just going to get sick. I don't. <laughs> I don't think they're going to remove any hair with that. But uh, yeah, that was the last one. That was interesting. It was. Interesting. Do you think you'd survive in medieval times? No. We yeah. really don't think you'd survive. Well, I mean, if I grew up in it like that, yeah, yeah. I would. But, but you I mean, just, can, you're saying going you, from now to then? Yeah, you I just get to, dropped it, right in there. I mean, it's possible. I mean, I could probably adapt. I mean, would you? Do you feel you'd have what it takes to remove hair? I mean, you got to drop some cat droppings and mm. vinegar and some eggs. Just put, uh, just rub it in there. Uh, you could probably, probably you could just probably that. just put it, and you'd never have to shave. Just right, right around. Just rub a cat turd. Just, <laughs> just rub it on like lipstick, and just meh, and you'd never have to shave. Just put a little egg, a little bit of vinegar. Just I facial never, mask. I never want to touch an egg again. <laughs> facial mask. But um, yeah. Yeah. Could you? Can you? Can you do that? Would you? Would you do that? Rub a cat turd on your face. I don't know. If if I was sure that I wouldn't have to shave, I might consider it because shaving is quite. A, Quite why, annoying. Why don't you just grow the beard? That'd be cool. I don't know. I don't know. I probably should grow a beard. Mm. But then I get lice and nits. Yeah. That'd be lice nice. and nits. Itchy all the time. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Well, that's all we got for our show today. So be sure to subscribe. 
Hit us up on Facebook and on Twitter, The Squeeze Box. It's not just Squeeze Box. It's not just The. It's The Squeeze Box, right? So make sure you hit us up. Make sure you like this video, original article in the description. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.